Hi, my name is Tim Hennessy, and for my exploit today, I will be exploiting a WebDAV server using a program called Cadaver. Um, the, a WebDAV server running on a remote um, on a remote server. Um, so uh, the first thing to do is I'm gonna have a, a, you open Metasploit, and then in Metasploit, I'm just gonna search for different exploits. Um, in this case, I'll just do search WebDAV. Let's expand this a little bit. Um, essentially, so up here, let's see here. This one right here is the one we want to use auxiliary scanner, web dev scanner, or HTTP web dev scanner. We're going to copy that, bring it back down here, hit use, and then paste it back in there. Go ahead, do that. And then I'll go ahead and type options so you can see what's going on. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set the path and the R hosts. Um, we've I've already done that because I recent I earlier did this earlier. Um, but the command to that is just set path to dav and then set R hosts to the IP of the um, remote server. Okay, so now that that's done, um, I'm just going to run a uh, test on the server to see what type of files it'll, it'll, it'll execute. So the command for that is just usr bin dev test. And then we've got to specify the URL. And then for that, that's just HTTP. And then the IP of the remote server. And then make sure to tap on slash dev at the end. Um, okay, so as you can see, it executes a PHP. And that's what we're really interested in here. Because um, we're going to use a PHP reverse shell um, to gain access. Okay, so. Next, we need to send the reverse shell file um, to the uh, server. Actually, first, um, we need to modify the reverse shell file so it does what we want. Um, usually, it's included in Kali Linux um, under user share web, web shells slash PHP, um, but I copied it to my documents folder. As you can see, it's right here. Um, so after that we'll have to set up a listening port on port 2323 so I'll go ahead and do that with this command and see LVNP 2323 okay so it's listening for any traffic on that port um, so next we have to modify the PHP reverse shell file so I'm to do that I'm just gonna do nano it out of there real quick make sure I... and then tab that in okay so let's scroll down here and so the only things you have to change are the IP and the port and so the IP is the is the IP address of the computer that you're currently using so because it, it needs to know where to point to in order to give it remote access and this is the port here so I already changed that so I'm just gonna hit control X but make sure to save that um, and then after that we'll open um, a tool called cadaver so um, let's go to let's just type in cadaver HTTP And then that's the IP of the remote server slash dev. Okay. And now we'll send the file to it, the uh, PHP reverse shelf. So we'll do put PHP reverse shell dot PHP. Okay. So as you can see, it says it succeeded. So now let's go into the um, into the uh, 
WebDAV server. As you can see right here, this is the file. Um, we click it, make sure it's running. And then minimize that. And as you can see, we are now WW data. And we can, if we just do ls-l, we can see we are now in the remote server. And we can cd to root. Um, you know, we can pretty much do whatever we want to do at this point. We can delete files, we can add files, copy files, um, and that's pretty much it. We're all done. Thank you.